guys my name is Adam and today we are doing something just a little bit different I'm gonna be showing you how to make your own ground bait completely free right guys this whole thing starts off with a loaf of bread a loaf of bread now it's summer now so bread don't last as long as it should do I usually eat brown bread sometimes I eat white bread don't really matter which bread you've got but say when you've got a couple of pieces of bread left in the thing, it's a bit old, starting to go a bit dodgy, maybe a bit mouldy. Best thing to do, don't throw it away. Take it out of the bag. Like so. Old piece of bread. What we have here, on top of the cooker, on top of the microwave next to the cooker, is loads of dry bread. This is all just old mouldy bread. It's gone dry. We'll leave it all in there next to the cooker which like we use pretty much daily so it's quite warm around this part quite a lot and it needs to be quite warm and airy otherwise it'll just go mouldy so what you do we leave it all in there let it all go dry like solid dry you hear that that's crispy dry and then when it's done that what you do move on over here guys so what we've got down here is full sack of what you saw on top of um, the microwave next to the cooker just dry old bread and this is like half the process what I do is dry it all out over there move it onto this sack which is full we've got too much I've got to start using a carrier bag and we've pretty much got half of that filled up to go through this is all just bread that just over a year sort of thing you just don't throw it away you dry it out put it in a sack or your paper sacks are, are kind of better because it keeps it a bit more dry and sort of thing and there's no chance of it ever going mouldy sort of thing and then what happens is take all that bread all this dry bread and what I do is I put it in the blender if you haven't got a blender I used to use um, an old big pan and just a mallet sort of thing and you used to just crush it all up and then once you've done all that turns it into this stuff right here Pure, beautiful white crumb. Look at that, full sack of white crumb. I mean, this probably won't, won't be cheap. I must have about 30 kilo of white crumb here, which is all right there, which can't go wrong. And one of the things I suggest doing is um, separating your white bread from your brown bread, which I do. I've got a separate thing for the, the brown bread, and that's right here. This is my brown bread. This is my separate thing for my brown bread. That's all just brown crumb. I've done exactly the same thing. Kept all the brown bread separately. Put it in a sack like that. Blended it all up. Threw it in a tub and then even in there, this is like at least 10 to 15 kilos of ground bait right there. All for completely free. Just for saving some bread. Can't go wrong. One thing I don't suggest doing with this ground bait guy is leaving it in your shed. Because what happens is mice will come out of nowhere and chew the bottom of your bag and eat all your bread and blah blah. Not very nice. So I keep all my bread in the house. I've learned a lesson from that. I've got to we had loads in the shed that got just demolished by mice and we end up with like about sixty thousand mice living in back garden, which is not what you want, so we had to move it all in the house and put about sixty thousand traps in back garden. Not what you want. So the best thing to do is keep it all in the house. All good. Also guys, if you want to see this ground bait in action, I will put the link in the description for some of our videos. Also, I'll link a video at the end. If you like what you saw today, please hit that like button and make sure you press that subscribe button and that notification button because next week we're going to Manor Farm Fisheries. We're going to go fish the River Avon. Big week. We're going to spend eight days solid fishing the River Avon. Thanks very much, guys.